Hey there, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ben Taylor. Uh, I'm a narc in recovery, working on developing uh, awareness about narcissism, uh, helping institute growth and change, and helping provide healing out there for people who are either narcissists and they're working on trying to better themselves, or people that have been in narcissistic abusive relationships and they're trying to work on gaining back their confidence and growing and becoming the person that they want to be. In talking with different people, one of the things that came up is I was talking to someone the other day with a one-on-one, -on -one, and I was asking them, I was like, what lies do you believe? And they were thinking through, like, well, I don't believe their lies because I've been filled with lies from the narcissist perspective and things like that. And I was like, no, I was like, what lies do you believe about yourself? They're like, I don't really know. I can't really think of stuff that the narc has put on me as far as, like, lies. And I was like, okay. I was like, what do you believe? deep down inside like what do you believe like what do you question about the whole relationship and they turned to me and they said sometimes i wonder was he right and i was like what do you mean by that and they're like well sometimes i wonder if the person was right like did i actually not love them how i was supposed to or if i would have loved them differently would stuff have changed would i be a better person would the relationship have lasted a little bit longer if i loved them better would would they not have cheated on me? You know, things like that. And I was like, okay, that's it. That's the lie. And that's the lie that they're making you think in the back of your mind. They're making you doubt yourself. They're making you doubt everything that you guys have been through. And they're putting that little seed in the back of your mind of what if that person's right? What if that narc is right? So I tried to turn around. I tried to say to him, I said, what if they're wrong? What if you believe the reality that they're actually wrong what does that change? What that does is that educates you and starts giving you the right and the power to take back your confidence, to take back who you used to be, to take back who you want to be, and to get to the place where you can focus on healing and change. Is that easy? No, it's not easy because then we transition into stuff called the trauma bond and how it's you're with a toxic person and you still want to be with that toxic person. And that's very difficult to be able to break through. But what you have to work on breaking through is the lies. The lies that they've put around you, the lies that they've made you believe. Because over a period of time, the narc slowly chips away at your self-confidence. It chips away at your self-respect, your love for yourself. And what they do is they slowly put lies around you. They put lies around you that make you think that you're not good enough that make you think that you can't find another person out there who will love you. They put lies around you making you think that you're ugly or making you think that you're fat or making you think that there's no chance in the world out there to be able to get love and affection from someone else besides that one particular narc. It's not true. And there's ways out there and there's ways to have growth, to change, and to develop, to get your confidence back and to focus on being the person that you were meant to be. Is it easy? No. Not at all, but you have to be able to break through the lies. The narc is full of lies, and as a result, you who are closest to them are going to get affected by that. You're going to get scarred by those lies. You're going to get hurt by those lies, but you're also going to have those lies start to try to entangle you. They're going to try to entangle you in the lies and the manipulation that surround the narc that will also start confusing you and start hurting you. That's where you have to focus on taking that back. You have to focus on developing, growing, and educating yourself of what's actually true and what's actually right. And how do you get to the place where you can be the best person that you can be? Focus on cutting the lies, not the lies that you're telling, but the lies that have been told to you. And focus on fighting to get your worth back.